All right, here we are at South Water Street, turning left to go south on Tama Road. Now, in this case, we have a sidewalk on the right-hand side and the bike path on the left. Full use of the roadway, to say the least. Now what we're going to do is go on the new, newest bike path, just constructed the winter before this winter, on Herring Creek Road going down to Katama Beach. And this is done to state standards, filling up the roadway all the way from shoulder to shoulder. It's got a two-foot shoulder, a ten-foot path, a five-foot separation, the roadway, and then another sh shoulder on the left. And you can see things are pretty flattened out to make way for this bike path. It's got a five-foot separation, no vegetation other than grass. Now for this section there were about 29 telephone poles that had to be shifted by the electric company, which apparently has to do that at no charge to the town if the town requests it. Once again, you can see the guy wire configuration when uh, normally the guy wire would go straight to the ground. It has to be tied off with the gaff to bridge the way. basically a third lane to the road. You can see the impact it has. What's the width of it out it's here? It's a ten foot way separated by a five foot grass strip. When this was put in the road was, was repaved relocated if it needed to be to uh, fit properly in the right-of-way. Presently, the State Highway Traffic Officials guidelines require a 10 or 12 foot way for a bicycle path. Remember these paths take bicycles going both directions, so it's a whole other road. It's not just a bicycle lane, but it's a whole other path and a whole other uh, system allowing bicycles to pass both directions, and that's one of the reasons I call for the width. You can picture two bicyclists going at uh, 
20 miles an hour passing each other in safety. And they completed this path right down to the beach. Turn left on Atlantic Drive. Here there's no bike path. These are put up along Ernie Box property, probably because a lot of the cyclists stop here to take pictures of the llamas that Ernie Bach keeps in his front yard. And you see the retaining wall that's put up along his place. So these reflecting poles aren't going to stop any cars. It might wake up a driver who drifts over there. And it might keep a child or some <coughs> unaware bicyclists from swerving out into the traffic. And we're now seeing the uh, end of it back at South Water Street. At this point, the signs indicate the bicycles are supposed to go down South Water Street rather than to continue along the route here. Name a road. So Peace Point Way starts here. And you can see there's no lane or anything marked for a bike here because they're not allowed. 